to the internet. So today we have to look at a Kia Rio. Now you might not think this is the most sporty of cars, but we'll get to that at the end. So this car is a 2011 example, one of the last ones of this series. The Rio was designed using a shared platform with the same year Hyundai Accent and its purpose is to be a small practical car that is cheap to buy and economical to live with. This series was built between 2005 and 2011 with a minor facelift model from 2009 onwards. There was both manual and automatic options and you could pick up good condition Rios from between five to eight thousand dollars with decent kilometers for their age. You often see these cars being driven by young or new drivers being so affordable to use. The car itself is quite versatile with folding rear seats and plenty of boot space. Also, you can get a Rio in a sedan or a hatch depending on personal preference. Using the same drive line as the Hyundai Accent, they cross over to both and they are the same for both cars. So for example, they made a 1.4 litre and a 1.6 litre petrol engine in line four cylinder, making 96 horsepower and 110 horsepower respectively. And they also did make a 1.5 litre diesel, turbo diesel engine for it. However, as far as I'm aware, they're not actually available in Australia. I've never seen one. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know. As usual with things like this, the easiest way to find out if it's any good is to get in and drive it. The car is comfortable to drive and has good all around visibility, however the lack of power will limit you when overtaking on the highway or negotiating heavy traffic like in the city. The true test of any car is how much fun you can have in it. And while it's true you can have fun in this car not a great amount of cost, you might have to come to a road like this and really, really push it. Or So this test right now I'm going to conduct shows us just how fun a front wheel drive car really can be if you're willing to go to the airport. Now I'd like to state that I'm on a private track, not on the streets, and that you shouldn't do this unless you're in the same conditions, otherwise you're going to probably lose your license, if not that's on. So let's not do that. Anyway, time to go. Revs up, air corn off, most power and... Well, that didn't work out as planned. Let's see if we can give that another go. I think that no matter how many times I've tried this, the car just is too heavy and doesn't have enough power for doing it. So, uh, yeah, that didn't quite work out the way I planned. And then I get a little bit, little bit frustrated and end up just doing some handbrake turns. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. That's unfortunate. It was a bit fun, but it's kind of hoping it would last longer than that. So, well, back to the drawing board with that. And with that, see you all later.
like to take the opportunity to thank the guys and girls at Benarabee Raceway for allowing me to use the track to film the last sections of this video. And also a good friend of mine, Jack, who without him this video simply would not have been possible. Uh, if you guys like the video, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, comment. I'll try and talk to anyone I can and let me know what you think and I'll make some more. Till then, see you next time. They did produce a 1.5 here. Really? 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 Anyway.